those who truly know me know that I'm basically a goblin who lives in my little room here and plays Flesh and Blood. But the main thing that I play is Rana. And there's one mistake I literally see every single Rana player do, which is play Gambler's Gloves. I see professional players, I see new players, and everyone falls into this trap of gambler's gloves. You're going to tell me, you're going to use two of your equipment pieces, so scab skins and gambler's gloves, to make a cohesive build? Now, I've seen probably one build that technically works, which is the Tome of Fyandal build that I think we all used to use back in the day in Welcome to Wrath. Everyone falls to this trap. I've seen so many matches, so many videos of everyone falling into this gambler's gloves trap. If you fail a role as Ryanar, you need to learn to accept the role and just get on with your day. I... I... Uh... <laughs> okay. Without getting too overly angry or too overly flustered, we now have two very, very good choices instead of Gambler's Gloves. And your entire build should not ro revolve around rolling, ga uh, rolling scab skin leathers. Your two choices are one, Goliath Gauntlet, which is a more aggressive uh, thing, aggressive equipment that you can put onto a Command and Conquer, or you can put on a Cadaverous Contraband, or something that if you want to reach extra damage. But the other one now is Skull Crushers. In a recent podcast of someone who also uses Gambler's Gloves in match videos. The short end of the stick. So next is going to be Skull Crushers. Hey, now I don't think we need to say too much about this card, but I have a question for you. Is this card good enough to play in a standard Reinhardt deck? So it's possibly an upgrade on Iron Rock Gauntlet if you want that into an aggressive meta. Um, but it's kind of anti-synergistic because you want Gambler's Gloves in any deck where you're rolling dice and this fits your arm slot. So I don't really want any part of this, to be honest, in in, uh, in Class Constructor decks, I think. Recently stated that Skull Crushers isn't a good equipment. And in my opinion, I really think that, that Skull Crushers is the equipment you need to use. Simply, it blocks for one, which is more than enough. Uh, during past formats, I was even considering picking up Iron Rock Gauntlets just for the extra one block damage. But the main reason why you use it is because you can now swing with an attack with Go Again, like let's say Wild Ride, and or let's say uh, Pulping, or Breakneck Battery. Let's let's just list all the ones you can put up here, and then you can roll Scab Skin Leathers. If you simply roll, you know, a 2 or 3, you, your turn doesn't change. You usually just swing with your hammer straight after. But if you manage to get that 5 or a 6, you basically are trading 6 damage into 6 damage for 3 cards. Usually 3, sometimes 4. Which is more than enough. Now, I've personally used Skull Crushers, I think, close to about 20 games. And... Every single time that I roll scabs, I do it on a on a time where I don't feel like if I do roll a 1, I'm going to lose the game. And usually this is with playing a pulping, mainly using a pulping, or let's say uh, something where I, like, I don't have a full hand. I, I really want to push this point because people who use gambler's gloves against Reiner don't even know the idea of why it's like scab skin leathers exist and the scab skin leathers is to get us out of pinch situations not something that you build your deck around if you need that extra action point that's when you roll scabs not oh i have two actions that i can do this turn i'm gonna roll scabs or i have an e-pod in hand i'm gonna roll scabs you need it Base your entire deck around that scab skins is something that you roll maybe once every single two games, if it comes to that. Skull Crushers, on the other hand, you can sometimes get four or five extra damage just off one equipment for basically nothing. 
if your counter argument to this is, oh, I guess you can, you know, play Rolling Thunder or you can play all these other variant roll cards. And to that, I just say, just don't play them. I, I honestly think the only card you could use that rolls is, uh, what's it called? The Rolling Thunder. But in my opinion, I haven't found a lot of success with it. But, you know, it's still the start of the set. So, quick PSA, if you're playing Gambler's Gloves in 2022, uh, stop playing Gambler's Gloves and start playing Skull Crushers. Simple. Anyways, that's it for the video. I have more announcements. Uh, so, next week, Thursday, we're doing the Yazi stream. Um, come by, stick around, it's going to be a very good one. Um, it's going to be a deck tech or like discussion about your decks and how to help people with their decks. Um, I want to give back to the community. Um, it's going to be a bit odd. So I ho hope you guys are ready for that. And the other thing too is I do have a Valentine's Day video coming. Um, uh, so it'll be posted in Australian time because you know, that's where all my, that's where I live. And yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm posting any more videos until then, but I thought I'd let you guys know now. Yeah, anyways, that's it for the video. See you in the next one. Peace.